kind of a garden? Where? Across the river in the garden state. Well, I see a plant. Where? Straight across there, the one with the smokestacks. <laughs> I should call it the smokestack state. New Jersey is really beautiful, Kate. Once you get out of the big cities, it has mountains, farms, lakes, beaches. It has everything. I know, but they should put all that stuff in the front and put all the factories and the buildings in the back. The front, view, that's the front of New Jersey and Pennsylvania's the back? Yeah. Why should Pennsylvania get all the gardens, mountains, and lakes and we get stuck with the factories, buildings, and smokestacks? I don't know. Why are there innocent people in jails and criminals roaming the streets? It's not right. No. You know, I am really annoyed with Pennsylvania. The entire state? Just the front of it. Or the part that faces the back of New Jersey. Right. Yeah. This is the dumbest thing you have ever talked me into. Allie, if you were catering a cocktail party for an Italian bang... I'd make Italian food because I know how to make Italian food. I do not know how to make sushi. Ah! Oh, damn! Hi. What's to eat? I'm starving. Oh, Chip, come try these. What are you making? Finger food. <laughs> what is it? Try it. It's delicious. You like it? What's in it? Cucumbers, rice, roughish. <laughs> what does he know? He's not a gourmet. Look, Mom, I'm really sorry I didn't make my bed this morning, but this is your idea of a fair punishment? Chip, this is not a punishment. Why don't you go make your bed? I'll make you a tuna sandwich. No more fish, Mom. Raw, cooked, or swimming. I'm going back to peanut butter. And Kate, you tried to kill me. This was a mistake. I know it. Allie, we are so lucky to have this job. The Japanese are big party givers. Buy a building, throw a party. Buy a company, throw a lunch. Buy a neat, that's all they do. If the word gets out that we cater for them, we're going to have more jobs than we can handle. If you say so. I just want it to be good. Of course it's good. If you like that kind of food. You don't like it? Well, you know me. I'm a nut for American food. Spaghetti, tacos, chow mein. Have you packed? Yes. I, I feel terrible leaving you with all this stuff. Come on, it's a piece of cake. Oh, listen, don't forget to defrost the Swedish meatballs and the quiche Friday night for the Gormans on Saturday. Allie, that wedding is not for a month. Kate, I told you, the Gormans are coming over on Saturday morning with their daughter to taste test the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, that's right, that's right. You're going to forget. I'm coming back Friday night instead of Saturday. Will you stop? I'm not going to forget. And even if I do, you'll call me ten times over the weekend to remind me. Now go. Get ready for your plane while you still have a finger left to hail a cab. Oh, Hero will be here in time to help you finish up and load the car. You already told me. Now go on. You can still make the three o'clock shuttle. What is the fall line distance of Mount McKinley? Is that going to help me get a job? You do know what a fall line is, don't you? Fall line is a German wife. Oh. <laughs> no, that's it. Concussion. I need mouth to mouth. Aw, oh, man, come on. Not in front of the kid. Did you do your homework? Don't worry about me. I'm not the one who needs a babysitter. You two are. Hi, guys. You remember Hero, right? Hi, sure. Hi. Mom called. She wants you to call her and tell her how it went. Oh, OK. Do they eat the live fish? First of all, Chip, they are not live fish. They are raw fish. And yes, they ate most of them, but I brought the rest of these back for you. Well, that's great. Well, I love sushi. You want some, Ben? Sure. Oh, Kate, it's a little spicy. <sighs> Too much wasabi, Kate. What's that? Ellie made them. I don't even know what's in them. Oh, wasabi is a spicy horseradish. We Japanese are more used to it than the Americans. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Ellie. I just walked in. Whoa. Oh, we were a big hit. Lots of arigatos. Hiro says that means thank yous. Whoa. Oh, that's Hiro. He just tasted your cassava. Wasabi! Wasabi! I guess you were a little free and easy with it in the sushi, but everybody ate it. 
So have a good time. You were a big hit with the Osaka set. Whoa! Here's your lunch. It's peanut butter and jelly. Good. That's Lou. Good morning, Legs. You wanted all the papers? Thanks, Lou. Here, Chip, will you go through that one? What are you looking for? Well, we catered a party at a bank yesterday, and I think there'll be a story about it in the paper. They had a $40 million Rembrandt on display. Are you kidding? You never catch me laying out 40 mil for a Rembrandt. Oh, really? What's your top? <laughs> Who's Daryl Everly? Oh, he's the food critic for the New York Telegraph. Did you see him last night? I wouldn't know him if I fell over him. He was there last night. Uh-oh. What? I think he says your food stinks. What? <laughs> Let me see this. The food was served by Kate and Allie Caterers. Unfortunately, they served it in a bank instead of a fire station. The raw fish was so hot that it was well done by the time it reached my mouth. <laughs> what these women know about cooking could fill an emergency room? That's pretty funny. It is not. I made a mistake. This could put us out of business. What am I gonna do? Hold, 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 I, I got a great idea. Really, Lou, what? All right, and it might sound a little crazy, okay? But my buddy's got a go-go bar in Jersey. I think you make a great dancer. Will you get out of here? Oh, yes, we're coming back. What's you know? coming back? I'll buy you the boots. <laughs> Your mom is gonna kill me. What am I gonna do? Kate, why don't you just bring this food critic some of mom's usual hors d'oeuvres? That is such a great idea. Of course, I'll defrost some of the hors d'oeuvres that she put aside for the Gormans. That will really impress Mr. Everly. Agnes! Yes, sir. Uh, uh, here's a list of new restaurants that opened this month. Oh, God. <laughs> Why did I take this job? Because you're too cheap to pay for your own meals. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't fire you years ago, Agnes. Because you're too cheap to pay for a good secretary, too. Yeah. By the way, that woman is still waiting. How long has she been here? At least an hour. She's been sitting out there an hour? Standing. You had me remove the chairs. Oh, yes. Huh. Well, let's hear what she wants. Miss McCarthy. Hello, Mr. Everly. I'm Kate McArdle. Kate and Allie Caterers. Ah! <laughs> what is that? This is our more typical fare. These are baked chicken wings and Swedish meatballs. And these are little quiches. Oh, try these, Mr. Everly. You served the hors d'oeuvres last night, and I reviewed them. If they were not your best, you shouldn't have served them. Mr. Everly. The comments in your paper this morning could ruin our business forever. <laughs> Please try these before they get cold. These meatballs are my partner's secret recipe. Miss McArdle, if you don't mind, in one hour, I'm going to a restaurant to have real food. So please, take your traveling kitchen out of here. Good day. healthy home-cooked meal for my son. We're going out. I'll talk to you in the morning. Love you, Chip. Love you too, Kate. Not for long. Remember the Gormans. Dyra Leverley here. God only knows why I tasted one of those Swedish meatballs, but I must confess I was compelled to finish all of them, and the chicken wings as well. Read my column tomorrow. You should be quite pleased. Hi, what's going on? Lou's on his way up with the morning paper. Oh, yeah, that guy told you to look in his column today. Do you think your name will be in it? Oh, as long as he says something good about our company, I don't care if my name's in it or not. I never had my name in the paper. You will. I can see it now. Chip Lowell, elected 50th U.S. president. Would you mind if it said, Chip Lowell, elected 50th U.S. president, 
and now engaged to Christy Brinkley. <laughs> That's Lou. Thanks, Lou. Maybe I should start a paper route. Hey, slugger. Hey, Lou. Cup of coffee? I don't drink coffee. Right, bad for your heart. Why do you drink it, then? Lou doesn't have a heart. <laughs> What's the matter, Kate? I can't find Daryl Everly's column in here anywhere. Good. Ain't he the one who said your food was lousy? Yeah, but he changed his mind, and his column is usually in the food section, but... Oh, my God. What? What happened? This is terrible. This is awful. What, another picture of Mayor Koch? <laughs> Daryl Everly, renowned food critic from the New York Telegraph, died late last night. <laughs> Obituary in Monday's column. You're kidding. How could he do this to me? And I got no heart? Somewhere in his office is a good review of our food. Could be the last review he ever wrote. It's a classic. We'll be famous. Only if they print it, Kate. They will, Chip. Trust me. I really appreciate this, Agnes. I really do. I know how upset you must be about poor Mr. Everly. If I were upset, I wouldn't be here. He was a bat. A bat? A bat and a Scrooge. I worked for him for 15 years, and he never gave me a present, birthday, Christmas, or otherwise. And he was worse than a Scrooge. He was a Scrooge with indigestion. He had a bad stomach? Always. Either from bad food or from overeating good food. If he didn't burp every five minutes, I'd run in to see if he was still alive. What did he die from? Probably some bat disease. <laughs> He evidently came back here after Cher Raoul last night, typed his review of the food and his retraction of his column on your food, flew home and died. <laughs> this is the retraction. Thank you. Oh, wow, this is so great. Do you think they'll print this? Oh, it's up to the feature editor to decide, but I called him. Thanks. What's this all about, Agnes? Oh, uh, well, Ebenezer wrote a retraction. <laughs> of a pan of her uh, company, and he left it on his desk last night. Uh, she wants it printed. I'm Kate McArdle. This is the retraction. Hello, Ms. McArdle. Isn't it wonderful? I can't wait to read it in your fine paper. Is this all Daryl left? He also wrote a review of his dinner at Chez Raoul's, the French joint. Let's see. All right. Yes? Sorry. Oh, don't be sorry. Do something that you won't be sorry for. Print that. Well, this retraction is too trivial to print at this time. I'm sorry. But this could help. I'm sorry. Do you think I could have it? I don't see why not. Here. Thank you. Do you have a copy of it? You know, in case you change your mind. Yes. Great. Thanks. Bye. 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 Boy, this is so great. It's so... Beautifully written, really. Hi. Hi. You want to read something great? Oh, this is a great retraction, Kate. Isn't it? So, are you proud of your mother and me? Sure. Proud enough to call eight million people in the city and read it to them over the phone? They won't print it, huh? No. I even thought of taking out a full-page ad in the paper and printing it myself. Yeah, that's a good idea. Oh, but I bet a full-page ad's pretty expensive, huh? Twenty-six thousand dollars. Ah. Go for it. Yeah. That's so unfair. But did you try any other papers? Yeah, they're all the same. You know, Kate, why don't you just, like, write a letter to the editor quoting the retraction word for word? I mean, that way you'll get all the information into the paper and it won't cost you a penny. Now you know why I agreed with your mother that you should go to college. You're a genius. <laughs> yeah, I'm majoring in that. <laughs> there, that's it. Oh, great. Dear sir, only hours before Daryl Everly passed away, he typed the following retraction of his review of Kate and Ellie Caters. This afternoon, a lunatic brunette burst into my office. Did you have to include that part? Well, we can't tamper with any part of it or else they'll think that we tampered with the whole thing. Oh, okay. So I finished writing up the retraction and, and then I wrote up that summary. Okay. And so Mrs. Barsky and I feel that it would be an injustice not only to us, but to the memory of Daryl Everly, this is great, not to print what, in fact, were his final thoughts. Yours truly, give me the pen, Kate. Carl. great. 
I'm gonna mail this boy. Oh, we have a good writers. You sure you don't need my help with the Gormans? Oh, no, Chip, you go to the game. Jenny's coming over. If I need any help, she'll be here. Okay. Uh, Kate? Yeah, Chip? Mom forgot to leave me money. You see, after the game, I usually go to this Chinese restaurant and then to the movies and I buy candy and stuff. How much? $15. How much? 11. You were lying before? Not to you. It's $15 if I have to pay the usual $7 for a movie ticket. But if I say I'm under 12, then the ticket's only $3. If you want me to lie, just give me 11. Don't lie. Thanks, Kate. Have fun. I'm Kate. You must be Mrs. Gorman. Yes. And Mr. and Janine, the bride-to-be. Thank God. Oh, listen, congratulations. Come on in, sit down at the table. Thank you so much for letting us sample your hors d'oeuvres. Oh, it's not a problem. Here they are. Chicken wings and the meatballs oh, and the quiches. Very nice. They just came out of the microwave. You're right on time. <laughs> Everything smells so wonderful. <laughs> Kate! Uh, did you mail that letter? Yeah, last night you saw me. Shoot, I was hoping you'd go to the mailbox and forget to mail it. Why? It was a wonderful letter. Yeah, it said Everly died the day he ate your food. Right. You didn't see today's paper? No. Daryl Everly dies of food poisoning! Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, hold on. Oh, uh, nothing. What are you doing? Well, I just remembered these are the Schwartz's hors d'oeuvres. Yours aren't defrosted yet. You'll have to come back tomorrow. But won't these be the same as we get? Uh, no. Well, I'm not sure that we can come back tomorrow. Well, if you taste these, you definitely won't be back tomorrow. <laughs> Agnes! Ah! Oh, I'm so glad I found you. You've got to help me. What's wrong now? Last night, I mailed a letter to the editor telling him that Everly tasted our hors d'oeuvres the day he died of food poisoning. You killed him? No, Agnes, it was a coincidence. So what do you want from me? Well, I was hoping you'd help me find the letter before the editor reads it and possibly prints it. Your life is a mess, isn't it? <laughs> yes, Agnes, it is. Please? Well, let's go down to the mailroom and get it before Irwin and his little people distribute it. Agnes, you're terrific. Erwin! Hello, we're here, we're here. Oh, hi, Jenny. No, I don't think your mom is home yet. Terrible, it went awful. They couldn't find my letter in the mail room. I don't know what else to do. It doesn't matter anyway. Your mom will be home in five minutes, and I'll be dead in ten. Okay, honey. Thanks, sweetheart. Bye. May I help you? Most likely. Yes? You must be Allie. That's correct. So how do you do? I'm Agnes Hobart, Daryl Everly's ex-secretary. Well, actually, he's more my ex-boss than I'm his ex-secretary, since he's the one that left. Uh -huh. Daryl Everly, the food critic? The ex-food critic. He quit? Everything. He died. I didn't know. You've been away? Yes. Your partner told you she thought your meatballs killed him, right? <laughs> Why don't you come in, Miss... Uh... It's Mrs. But Mr. has another Mrs., so if you know a good-looking 60-year-old, don't hold back. Suppose you tell me about my meatballs and Mr. Everly. Well, you're aware of the retraction? The review? This letter? You don't know a hell of a lot, do you? I told you I was away. Well, to make a long story short, Everly panned your party at the Sumi Numi Bank. Your partner brought him your meatballs to taste. He loved them, wrote a column about them, and then apparently died of food poisoning before it was printed. Apparently? 
They just found out it wasn't food poisoning. It was an allergic reaction to something he ate at Shea Raoul. Well, I, I found her letter, and uh, I suppose she wants to have it printed now. You don't know? No. And you have no idea what's in it? No. Were you away or in a coma? Uh, my, my partner doesn't tell me everything. Why don't I give this to her and let her decide? Fine. And thank you, Mrs. Um... Agnes. And uh, he can be 65, too. Well, I'll, I'll keep my eyes open. Yeah, 66, 67 is uh. fine. <laughs> 70. What? Hi, Ellie. Hi, Kate. So, did you have a good time? Great. How are the kids? Oh, they're great. Chip's at the movies. Good. So, how was it while I was gone? Great. Fine. Perfect. Anything special happened? Special? Mm, no. Like what? Oh, uh, anybody call? Drop by? Drop dead? <laughs> what? I'm just kidding. <gasps> oh, you know those meatballs I made for the Gormans? What about them? Well, you know those little ant traps with the ant poison in them that we keep up in the cupboard? Yeah. Well, I was making the meatballs, and one of the ant traps fell in. Well, I got it out really quickly. I don't think any poison got in, but did the Gorman say anything? Oh, Allie. What? Oh, Allie. What? We killed Daryl Everly. The food critic? What are you talking about? I fed him your poisoned meatballs. Oh. Hey, Kate, you know, we're friends and all of that, but uh, I was in Washington. I have witnesses. Allie, what are you saying? Well, you could plead temporary stupidity for making me make the sushi, and they might take ten years off your sentence. Agnes dropped this off. Daryl Everly died of something else. So you want to start from scratch, or should we just skip it? We'll just skip it. You were right about the sushi. Daryl Everly was at the bank opening, and he decided to review our food. We're going to have to come up with a contingency plan. What for? In case they don't print the letter. We're going to have to raise some money so we can take an ad in the paper, send out some flyers, try to get on the morning show. If we don't, Kate and Allie is not going to have any customers. We could just change the name. Can you do that? It's done all the time. Remember Kresge's? Kmart. Really? Did Kresge's get a bad review? Who knows? Anyway, Kate and Allie Caterers is a pretty unimaginative name. How about Kresge's? They're not using it. The truth is, we do a lot more than just catering. We should come up with a name that implies that we do just about anything. Marilyn Carmichael. Oh, yeah. Remember her? Just about anything. What about K and A Mart? <laughs> Just when you think you're all by yourself, you're not. I don't see any sign of a garden. Where? Across the river in the garden state? Oh, I see a plant. Where? Straight across there, the one with the smokestacks. <laughs> I should call it the smokestack state. New Jersey is really beautiful, Kate. Once you get out of the big cities, it has mountains, farms, lakes, beaches. It has everything. I know, but they should put all that stuff in the front and put all the factories and the buildings in the back. The front? To you, that's the front of New Jersey and Pennsylvania's the back? Yeah. 
Why should Pennsylvania get all the gardens, mountains, and lakes, and we get stuck with the factories, buildings, and smokestacks? I don't know. Why are there innocent people in jails and criminals roaming the streets? It's not right. No. You know, I am really annoyed with Pennsylvania. The entire state? Just the front of it. Or the part that faces the back of New Jersey. Right. Yeah. This is the dumbest thing you have ever talked me into. Allie, if you were catering a cocktail party for an Italian bank... I'd make Italian food because I know how to make Italian food. I do not know how to make sushi. Ah! Oh, damn! Hi. What's to eat? I'm starving. Oh, Chip, come try these. What are you making? Finger food. <laughs> what is it? Try it. It's delicious. You like it? What's in it? Cucumbers, rice... Ruffish. <laughs> what does he know? He's not a gourmet. Look, Mom, I'm really sorry I didn't make my bed this morning, but this is your idea of a fair punishment? Chip, this is not a punishment. Why don't you go make your bed? I'll make you a tuna sandwich. No more fish, Mom. Raw, cooked, or swimming. I'm going back to peanut butter. And Kate, you tried to kill me. This was a mistake. I know it. Allie, we are so lucky to have this job. The Japanese are big party givers. Buy a building, throw a party. Buy a company, throw a lunch. Buy a neat, that's all they do. If the word gets out that we cater for them, we're going to have more jobs than we can handle. If you say so. I just want it to be good. Of course it's good. If you like that kind of food. You don't like it? Well, you know me. I'm a nut for American food. Spaghetti, tacos, chow mein. Have you packed? Yes. I, I feel terrible leaving you with all this stuff. Come on, it's a piece of cake. Oh, listen, don't forget to defrost the Swedish meatballs and the quiche Friday night for the Gormans on Saturday. Allie, that wedding is not for a month. Kate, I told you, the Gormans are coming over on Saturday morning with their daughter to taste test the hors d'oeuvres. Oh, that's right, that's right. You're going to forget. I'm coming back Friday night instead of Saturday. Will you stop? I'm not going to forget. And even if I do, you'll call me ten times over the weekend to remind me. Now go. Get ready for your plane while you still have a finger left to hail a cab. Oh, Hero will be here in time to help you finish up and load the car. You already told me. Now go on. You can still make the three o'clock shuttle. What is the fall line distance of Mount McKinley? Is that going to help me get a job? You do know what a fall line is, don't you? Fall line is a German wife. Oh! <laughs> no, that's it. Concussion. I need mouth to mouth. Aw, oh, man, come on. Not in front of the kid. Did you do your homework? Don't worry about me. I'm not the one who needs a babysitter. You two are. Hi, guys. You remember Hero, right? Hi, sure. Hi. Mom called. She wants you to call her and tell her how it went. Oh, okay. Did they eat the live fish? First of all, Chip, they are not live fish. They are raw fish. And yes, they ate most of them, but I brought the rest of these back for you. Well, that's great. Well, I love sushi. You want some, Ben? Sure. Oh, Kate, it's a little sp spicy. <sighs> Too much wasabi, Kate. What's that? Ellie made them. I don't even know what's in them. Oh, wasabi is a spicy horseradish. We Japanese are more used to it than the Americans. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Ellie. I just walked in. Whoa! Oh, we were a big hit. Lots of arigatos. Hiro says that means thank yous. Whoa! Oh, that's Hiro. He just tasted your cassava. Wasabi! Wasabi! I guess you were a little free and easy with it in the sushi, but everybody ate it. So have a good time. You were a big hit with the Osaka set. Whoa! Here's your lunch. It's peanut butter and jelly. Good. That's Lou. Good morning, legs. You wanted all the papers? Thanks, Lou. Here, Chip, will you go through that one? What are you looking for? Well, we catered a party at a bank yesterday, and I think there'll be a story about it in the paper. They had a $40 million Rembrandt on display. Are you kidding? You never catch me laying out 40 mil for a Rembrandt. Oh, really? What's your top? 
Who's Daryl Everly? Oh, he's the food critic for the New York Telegraph. Did you see him last night? I wouldn't know him if I fell over him. He was there last night. Uh-oh. What? I think he says your food stinks. What? <laughs> Let me see this. The food was served by Kate and Alley Caterers. Unfortunately, they served it in a bank instead of a fire station? <laughs> the raw fish was so hot that it was well done by the time it reached my mouth. <laughs> What these women know about cooking could fill an emergency room? That's pretty funny. It is not. I made a mistake. This could put us out of business. What am I going to do? Hold, 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 hold. I, I got a great idea. Really, Lou, what? All right, it might sound a little crazy, okay? But my buddy's got a go-go bar in Jersey. I think you make a great dancer. Will you get out of here? Oh, yes, we're coming back. You What's know? coming back? I'll buy you the boots. <laughs> Your mom is going to kill me. What am I going to do? Kate, why don't you just bring this food critic some of mom's usual hors d'oeuvres? That is such a great idea. Of course. I'll defrost some of the hors d'oeuvres that she put aside for the Gormans. That will really impress Mr. Everly. Agnes! Yes, sir. Uh, here's a list of new restaurants that opened this month. Oh, God. 